Now most decent lathes will have automatic feed, um, both longitudinally and transverse. Um, so that's like facing and also plane turning just by the position of that lever. Um, cheaper lathes will only generally have um, power feed longitudinally along the axis of what you're turning. Um, and you can easily tell because lathe will generally have a lead screw and then a drive rod for the feed. And on a very plain lathe, it will just have a lead screw and no, um, no drive for the uh, cross feed. So another good feature, um, decent lathes will have a forward reverse lever that travels with the carriage, so nice and uh, convenient there. This lathe has also got a foot brake, so uh, for an emergency stop, you can just stand on that, and that will bring that will bring the spindle and a chuck to uh, a pretty quick halt because you're turning something pretty heavy. There's a fair bit of momentum, and you know if you've got a piece of clothing or something wound into lathe, you need to stop it quickly. Uh, that's the go. Of course, there's always the emergency stop button. Now this lathe over here, it's about three grand's worth. So uh, a pretty budget sort of model. Um, one thing to check is the stand. Uh, the price of the stand in this lathe is not included. And you really do need a stand. Don't, uh, unless it's a really small lathe, don't think about taking it home and bolting it to your bench. And by the time you make a stand, you may as well just buy one. This lathe over here, we're looking at about five grand for this fella and the stand is included. A couple of handy toolboxes in it as well. So don't forget the stand. Anyway, I hope that gives you a bit of an idea about what to look for.